in this video i'll be showing you how you can contact wise customer support again i'll be showing you how you can contact wise customer support and the first thing to do is to log in into your wise account once you're logged in like i have here on the home page you would see your profile icon by the right side of the screen click on it once you've done that you would see a drop down menu and a list of options such as statements and reports settings help center logout open a business account etc all you need to do is to click on help center that's our focus so once you click on help center you'll see a list of common issues that people have and the reason they contact the customer care so if your issue or the issue you're facing or the problem you're trying to com make complaints about if they are amongst these options all you need to do is to select them click on any of them for example if the topic or the problem you're trying to discuss is about the wise card all you need to do is to click on it this way and then another list of options which will be set will be displayed to you to know what exactly you want to know about wise card so if it's about the pin or the basics or the problems just click on it and then you further you have to specify your question if it's about getting the wrong grade you click on it and then the article would show you what you need to know then if you do not find the article helpful you select no and then can go ahead to make your complaints but on the other hand if on at the help home which is here you none of this falls under or your issue is not amongst this you would click on contact us which is next to still need help which is at the lower part of the screen you click on it then you'll be asked to tell them about your issue whichever one let's say getting verified you select it then you have to be more specific so i need help getting verified then you could go ahead you'll be asked to upload documents then you could go ahead and upload the documents but if not you can also click on i still need help eventually following these processes you might be asked to contact them or speak to them directly by sending an email once you get to this point all you need to do is to select the email and then you enter in your description by typing in your issue and how you feel then once you're done you upload the files necessary and then you send the email within a day a, within a day your message will be responded to and you'll be granted solution to your problem so it's as simple as that so go ahead and make that call for today thanks for watching